I wish we had at least two hours to discuss about the readings today. At least two hours. And not just us, everyone. Because today, the question for us is, are you, are we truly free? Now, maybe we say, I am free, but are you truly free? And that's why Jesus told the believer among the Jews, if you keep my words, you will have, if you keep my words, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. They thought they're free, but they're not. According to Jesus. They still become slaves of sin, of their own tradition. Think about it. If we addicted to anything, we become slaves to that. If we addicted to racism, we become slaves to racism. We think we're free from it, but we keep talking about it. I have a true story for you. Two monks, Buddhist monks, they have to go through a, a, a kind of like a pond. They have to walk through the water, and the water quite high. And on the way there, they saw a beautiful woman try to, to walk across the pond, mud. And so the older monk, he, he felt compassion. So he volunteered himself, carry her to the other side of the pond, the mud. Now the younger monk, he kind of struck by that action and he kept talking to himself and say, how in the world this monk can do that? Carrying a beautiful young lady in his arms and walking along all the way home, that young monk couldn't even keep it in his heart and his mind anymore. So he shouted out and said, brother, I want to tell you, you commit a big sin. Why could you do that? What did I do? You carry her in your arms. And the old monk turned to the young monk. I already dropped her 30 minutes ago at the other side of the pond. You carry her to this point. Sometimes we think we're free, but we continuously entertain by sin. My brothers and sisters, I'm afraid that we don't know we are sin even. Because today Jesus said about sin, but a lot of us don't know that we committed sins. And so today we need to listen though, and listen to the one that God sent into our lives. You know, a lot of times we don't believe in prophets and the prophets of the day, the prophets of the time, until 50, 100 years later, like, like Archbishop Oscar Romero, we still doubted that to this point that he was part of that liberal theology or theology of liberation. And we didn't believe that he could liberate his people or tell him the truth. Same thing with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And you can name it so many, even politicians today. I hate to use that name, but you know, I have to admire so many good politicians out there. Speak up on the name of truth and, and the common good. And a lot of us, we refuse to hear. We refuse to listen until one day they might be killed or die. And then 30, 50 years later, we wrote a history about their lives. And then we come up with the day of that person. I wish that we'd be able to catch up a little bit faster than 50 or 100 years later. You know what I'm talking about? We always live in the past, but we couldn't live in the present for the future. One archbishop in Saigon, Vietnam, he said that we spend so much time to fix the problems. 
so much time even to reconcile among ourselves and we don't have enough time to love one another. And I think it's so true. Today, Jesus trying to argue and beg the Jews, if you don't even believe that I am telling you the truth and God sent me, then don't even say that you are children of Abraham because you don't do what Abraham taught you either. And so today, my brothers and sisters, if you and I could hear the word of God today, we need to be softened a little bit, open ourselves, and truly listen. Because if not, we are not truly free. We continue to live in fear. We live in hatred. We live in all kinds of resentment. Because when we hear that name or whatever, we just so angry deep within us. How can we sort out all the bad from the good and be able to listen and listen well? I wanted to tell you this. Sometimes when you go to confession and you say, I don't agree with Pope Francis' uh, teaching. I don't believe in some archbishop's way of teaching. I'm afraid when we so angry at those figures we call spiritual leaders of our church, we won't even listen to Jesus' teaching. Because I believe that this pope or bishops, or, they are sent by God. They are vicar of Christ. They are inspired by God. We need to carefully listen and be patient to discern, discern the truth. The three things that I said, in Jesus there is truly freedom, there is true freedom, because the word of Jesus invites us to trust in God, to tell the truth, and to love one another. Today is a world day of telling the truth for human rights. Let us tell him the truth for human rights. It doesn't matter who, poor, rich, black, white, yellow, we need to tell the truth and pray for those who have a courage to do so.